All right, so out of our box, we are now working on an AT Tiny pinout. So I have added the header on the back side there, and now we're going to solder up the actual pins. I'm putting it, I'm not sure which way this actually goes, top or bottom. I'm putting mine bottom so I can use a breadboard on it. All right, let's take a look, see if we got that all in there. That looks good. So there's that one. We'll move on to another in a moment. All right, now I'm soldering the next header on. Again, I'm putting them on the back side. I'm not sure if it's gonna make a difference, but if it does, then I'll be redoing this. There we go. That looks like it took solder well. And now we have our AT Tiny board ready to go. So what we have here is a AT Tiny Atmel chip on a small circuit board. And in order to connect to it, we need to use these pin headers right here. It goes and gets attached to a USB and stuffed inside the little holder. So what you'll end up with is a tiny chip inside of a USB. But in order to program on this header and to make contact with these pins, you can solder directly to them or rather than soldering directly to them just to program them then desoldering them and resoldering them and all that Hackerbox has provided you with these little guys and although you may or may not be able to see it let's see if I can demonstrate it or not without them shooting off it's a pin inside of a pin and the top half there you go see it it has a spring inside and spring loaded so you can just press this module up to uh, there we go you can press that pin directly up to a board or a test point which is what these actually are right here um, you can press it up to a test point and then program it and it's not a direct connection you just have to hold it there while you're programming it and then you're done and then you move on to whatever you're going to use the actual pinouts for so in order to make all these pins connect to this they sent us a breakout board and so the pins go inside this board um, and this board connects to the actual programmer chip that we have earlier in the in the process so what I'm going to be doing here is soldering or trying to solder these pins onto the breakout board wanting to go in a little bit more there we go there's two mm, there's three 
Now, before we go further, I think There is our pogos. And if you take the pogos on this little board and you press down ever so gently, there we go. It'll make contact with each one of the pads and you can program it. Here is The AT Tiny. Now I'd almost say that this little board is taking the place of my homemade proto board that I made for programming the AT Tiny. So this one is all being done in that one. So that's great. I have two of them now. And lastly, oh, need to cut that one off, but there is the last one. There we are. And I will catch you guys next time. We will put some of these to use. I just wanted everybody to see um, what they get in the new Hacker Box 56 and get that first part out on putting them together. All right, we will talk to you next time. You have a good day and keep your irons hot.